I was like, <laughs> and I just know they don't for here. If shock was a person, it would literally be me. Supposed to be, might be as elusive as it's close to me. And I'll be telling you guys the things I observed coming from someone who relocated from another EU country to this country. Some of the things I noticed there were not things I was used to experience when I first moved to Czech Republic and that of Hungary. So let's get into it. When I moved in here, my first ever impression was our first culture shock was people being ready to help. I mean coming from Hungary if you know Hungary if you've been to Budapest before you would know that Hungarians they are not typically the kind of people that would want to help you if you're stuck but coming down to Czech Republic it was the opposite people were willing to help if you go meet a Hungarian person for help or for direction trust me they are giving you nem 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 tudong nem angolo nem angolo and they are giving you the hand like no 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 you can't talk to me and coming here it was the opposite i mean the first day i came in here i came in using the flix boards because it's just uh, a couple of hours drive from hungary so that was the best route i could take since i had a lot of luggage and I met this old woman who we both were waiting for the same tram and my first impression this lady was talking to me in Czech we we're both waiting for the same tram right and when the wrong ones came in we we're like oh that facial expression but to my shock this lady was talking to me in Czech I couldn't understand Czech but I could understand what she was trying to say and we laughed which is something Hungarians don't do. You can't even go close to an old Hungarian lady because you know what I mean. If you if you if you lived in Hungary, you know these things. If you've been to Hungary before, you know these things. So I was shocked and trying to navigate my way around Prague as at that time, I got stuck a couple of times and I would literally go up to anyone to ask for help and people were actually open to help willing to help they would literally pull out their phone to help me navigate where I'm going to with their own Google map just in case mine they don't understand mine and it was something I have never expected Czech people are willing to help this is the first thing I noticed which was the first cultural shock I had when I came here I was not expecting it but as we may have it second thing i i noticed people eating on the streets now this is what you do for here i <laughs> coming from hungary you can't eat on the streets like you don't see people eating on the street you don't eat on the streets you are either in a restaurant or in a fast food joint trying to eat something but eating on the street i mean typical food like rice pasta fries in a box like the like the packaging box thing in the street while walking i had no words i had no words i was so shocked coming from hungary this is something i've never seen and in czech republic it is normal how and another thing i realized that their native food was goulash this is a typical hungarian food right and coming from hungary realizing that they eat goulash here i was i was i was a bit shocked because i expected something else but along the line when i did my research i realized that they adopted goulash from the hungarians while their main dish is i think the beef dumplings and something else which i haven't tried and i'm willing to try i think i should try that anytime soon i'm shocked to realize that they actually have the same food um, as hungary which is good right third thing on my list was the security guys i don't talk about this enough like living in czech republic it's so safe I have never felt this safe in Hungary like I have felt here. However, I love Hungary a lot. Hungary is my 
go to right hungary i literally grew up in hungary i lived all of my teenage life in hungary but the safety here and the safety in hungary are two different things in hungary people are loud you can either see things on the street like broken bottles homeless people walking up to you trying to scare you but here in czech republic it's the opposite i have never been stopped by a homeless person before never have i seen glasses on the street perhaps maybe i've not gone to the to the rough side but so far this place is so safe the level of security it's peaceful it's not noisy it's not packed like the way it says in hungary which was something i was so impressed about it and i felt like home this place literally feels like home compared to hungary i love hungary so much i'll tell you guys it's dear to me and all of the good stuff but if i am to choose either hungary or here to spend the rest of my life i'm definitely picking czech republic czech republic is that girl czech republic is that place you'd want to stay for so long because the people here are amazing i keep saying that the people here are amazing the culture is good in as much as czech people are conservative they don't really talk much but this place is nice they are willing to help you you can have striking conversations even at the random places with checks and don't feel the need to to avoid them because these are people that are receptive towards people and they are really nice i'm telling you the fourth thing on my list racism if you know you know the hungarians are nice people but the racism i faced in hungary is totally different from what i have faced here in hungary it is obvious they do it to your face they try to avoid you their facial expression is giving all of it even if they try to help you maybe you're lost or something trust me their facial expression gives it and there was this night i was somewhere around blaha in hungary budapest actually in budapest and a man literally screamed at me I was still new to Hungary as at that time back in 2018 and literally screamed at me and spat on me like it was that bad the racism in Hungary is bad even though people they try to hide it sometimes but the younger ones are more open towards international people to the older ones however here in Czech Republic the racism is different you guys let me tell you I have been racially profiled here in czech but not as intense as it is in hungary like people not wanting to sit close to you in the tram which i'm good with sis like i'm totally good with it i don't mind no sit anyone sitting close to me i am used to all of those things right people staring at you as well that's totally normal expect people to stare you expect people to look at you from head to toe expect them not to sit close to you because and sometimes i feel like sometimes in as much as we feel like those are racial behaviors i feel people initially don't want to sit or people don't feel like sitting down and sometimes i just give myself this idea that oh maybe this person doesn't want to sit because if they're exhausted and they feel like sitting they definitely will sit so i don't really see it as something that is racism also because these same people have helped me the same people i have laughed with in the tram the same people i have had good conversations with on the streets so in as much as the racism is there it's everywhere i don't think in czech republic it's something that you would see it's not common it's not everywhere because these people are really nice people like i said before i mean czech people do no wrong in my eyes you guys they do no wrong in my eyes you cannot tell me otherwise you can't tell me otherwise because of course i already know the drill and yeah last thing for me the last culture shock for me was um the transport system hey god i don't know but you guys check transport system is one of the best i have ever ever experienced if the bus says it will be here at 1 p.m best believe it is there at 1 p.m on the dots if it says it's delayed it's delayed um, 
even the metro the tram the buses it's so efficient like you can literally go anywhere get there on time do whatever you want to do go back to your house stop at other places because there's a connection to everything the connection is there you can either stop here or stop there but the connection is there you can do whatever you want to do and still get to your to your destination on time which was something i i don't know in hungary wasn't that efficient i mean the transport system in hungary is very good like very very good but here in czech republic no i didn't expect it but i'm glad i get to experience all of these good things here in czech republic and for those of you still coming I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do and you would like it here you would also love it and be open to to meeting new people as well as understanding cultures other people's cultures respecting it and having a more detailed idea about how the check leaves before you before you come out to say negative things like I said all of these things are things that some of them I have experienced and um, before coming here and these were my observations and things I feel I need to put out there for you guys since you are my people and um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did you guys besties follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok i mean i post good content there if i'm not posting here i'm posting there. the link in the bio my handle is right there in the bio it's at the end of this video just follow me on instagram babes and yeah we'll see you in the next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this video don't forget to comment i'm trying to do a get to know me video for you guys if there's something you'd like to know about me just leave it in the comments and i would make a video detailed video about it and yeah see you guys in my next video bye besties <laughs>